Oh, hi everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Fall of Fail Army. I'm your loving host, uh, that one that, that one that one guy. Yeah. What, I, don't have, I don't have a name. Anyway, uh What's my name? Anyway, um, so uh, I, I knew I promised a video that was supposed to come basically before this one in terms of like a, a live game stream and we're cast. Or so, I, if I, I promised something in the form of that, right? I, I, I don't know. Um, and uh, unfortunately, my, my transportation, my vehicle decided to go on strike and uh, not tell me about it. And uh, basically now I'm dealing with it. Everyone's dealing with it. Uh, it's It's... It's something they do. They do with it, and um, I'm I'm just trying to get my 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 candy back and forth to work, and it's it's not very uh, great to not only have less time, but uh, you know even less time now. So while I while I do while I deal with this, uh, this will be basically the only thing happening. But. Um, I'm trying, people. I'm trying. I'm trying. Shit. Okay, so for news coverage this week has some pretty cool news coming with it. For example, uh, the AAA exclusive Oculus shooter that Respawn has been working on uh, is from Medal of Honor uh, lineage. That is, and the trailer looks uh, maze balls. We're gonna get into that. Also, what we did uh, talk about uh, Gone, and we also posted on our Facebook pages. It looks like it is coming to PSVR. The state of play proved it, and that's great. We're gonna be talking about that. Also, Vertigo Games, the people behind Arizona Sunshine, uh, is, looks like they're set to release the Damned uh, uh, expansion for PC and PSVR uh, for Arizona Sunshine, finally. Um, also, from Vertigo Games, it looks like After the Fall, which has been announced, has now been confirmed for a PSVR release uh, in 2020. Uh, and also, it looks like the leak that we reported on was true, that basically LA Noir Case Files is available now, so go out and get that! Um, also, thanks to the state of play, Humanity was announced, uh, and uh, oddly enough, this has PSVR support, which I didn't get. If they uh, made, maybe it wasn't made apparent in the in the state of play trailer. Maybe I missed it, but it does have PSVR support. And man, this is from the people who came out with, uh, who worked on Tetris Effect and the studio founded by the man behind Res. Uh, so Res HD, and of course, you know the Res on the PSVR. So that's there you go. You see what, what I'm getting with on that one. Also, uh, if you like uh, Beat Saber and you also like Super Hot, well, imagine if the two of them met, you know, randomly in an off chance dive bar, had wild, kinky animal sex, and then this was their the love child. It's called Pistol Whip, uh, motion rhythm, like action shooter game. It's it's really interesting. We'll get into that. Uh, also, uh, there's a lot of stuff for the PSVR. Okay, so uh, Stardust Audio uh, Odyssey, excuse me which had a brief moment of, of, of shining light in the uh, State of Play video, uh, but had no, no real emphasis on it and what it was about. So we're going to talk about that, give it some justice. Also, another Kickstarter for you, this one coming from uh, a, a, a AR Board Game, uh, Tilt 5 holographic game system, and man, it blew past 450,000 in like 17 hours. This is insane. Look to see this in the homes in like a year or two. Everyone's going to be playing with this. Also, for all you sports fans and aficionados, people who would like to get to the games but you can't get there, check out Next VR because their partnership with the NBA to broadcast 26 games live. And that's right, Next VR is a thing that we've reported on. Check it out. Also, last but not least, Aspire 1. Uh, it was supposed to launch, as you know, on the 24th. That didn't happen. It's now been delayed and has a uh, full 2019 uh, window, which means look to see it in November. Anyway, uh, sit back. Uh, um, we use we use that a lot. Anyway, just you know, hold your horses while you know. Let's just get on with it. Q was the, the uh, Q transition. Q trend, please. Hey, hey, okay, so our first news article has to do with, of course, the Medal of Honor uh, Above and Beyond VR title exclusive to Oculus. Now, of course, this was just announced uh, today, actually, at the uh, Oculus Connect uh, 6 developer conference. And uh, now this is uh, impressive because it's do being done by a very well done, uh, very well uh, indeed uh, developer studio who has made a lot of headlines as of late in the last couple of years. 
but this is also returning to you know basics going full so full circle if you really think about it uh, b before call of duty there was no battlefield there was medal of honor and in fact uh, the people behind medal of honor went on to create uh, call of duty which you so lovingly play and lust over now you should go back and revisit this because they've always tried to envision of putting you in the the boots the literal boots of the people who were there um, they strive for authenticity and they do a lot of great things and this looks to be amazing from throwing pots and pans to you know throwing knives uh, meleeing with your butt of your rifle and shooting enemies this looks like some fun uh, there's no firm launch date but they do say it's going to relaunch on the rift in 2020 uh, if any more on this comes out we will let you know Okay, so we're going to go right on to the next article, and it has to do with Gorn. And uh, we've talked a lot about Gorn in the past. It's a very fun uh, game. It's been a strong contender ever since it released in, uh, what was it, 2017 in Early Access. And um, it's been top of the charts and Steam sales. Uh, it's always rec uh, recommended or mentioned when you talk about VR games. It's not for the squeamish because it's over the top violence but I mean it's like almost being ripped off skulls being exposed and smashed but it's cartoony you know so uh, you get your jollies off with that it's definitely looking like a lot of fun a hell of a lot of uh, replayability and uh, again just uh, great uh, stress relief you know uh, guilty pleasure game if uh, I think that's what the name they call it uh, definitely recommend it definitely can't wait to get it into our hands we will be playing the shite the absolute gob shite out of that yeah Okay, and uh, we're here with some news from Vertigo Games. Vertigo Games, in case you didn't know, made some awesome VR titles, uh, stretching as far back as uh, Arizona Sunshine, which they have now uh, apparently have a strong release date for the DLC The Damned. That's right, The Damned was initially supposed to launch, I want to say, on August 27th uh, last month, but then it was delayed, saying that it would just be pushed out further with no hard date. And now we do. We have an October 3rd date on PSVR and PC VR headsets. There you go. So that means the final piece of DLC for the uh, esteemed and I think badass game uh, zombie shooter for VR, P uh, PSVR as well. Arizona Sunshine will get the final uh, DLC. Um, that's not bad. It's said to precede the events of the main story as well as the latest paid DLC game uh, for the game, which came out in May uh, 2018, which was called Dead Man. Uh, this chapter of the game also sends you and a team of U.S. Special Forces uh, to reactivate the generators of a massively hydroelectric dam to restore power to the mil military's nuclear systems, which was still awesome. And we're going to, like we do sometimes, we're going to slipstream right into another news article uh, because it also has to do with Vertigo Games. So Vertigo Games also has a new title, a brand new IP called After the Fall. And it was announced earlier uh, this year, and now we do have a firm uh, date, that uh, con confirmation that yes, it is coming out on PSVR, and it will launch in uh, 2020 on PSVR. And it's set in the post-apocalyptic, uh, ice-covered uh, 1980s, uh, set in Los Angeles after basically the world froze over uh, and a lot of uh, deadies, uh, you know, in the wake. Um, it's supposed to feature large rooms, large, larger than life, I guess, the uh, bosses, uh, seamless multiplayer experience as well. Uh, so we, we'll see what's going to come of this, but so far, everything that we have seen for this game looks badass. Okay, so we have something to talk to you about in the form of Rockstar North's and LA uh, LA Noir VR case files uh, coming to fruition. So as you may remember on a few past uh, casts, uh, one of them that we did uh, announced that there was a leak for a uh, Peggy rating for this title for PSVR and it was basically not confirmed by any outlet, by any source whatsoever as again this was a leak. Looks like the leak was true and during uh, yesterday's uh, state of play announcement for Sony uh, they announced that LA Noir the VR case files is live available for PSVR uh, the second you saw the demo I mean not the demo sorry the trailer um, and this actually added a few interesting tidbits which brought uh, new graphic fidelity updates tweaks as well as uh, uh, let's see mini games boxing speed car racing and shooting galleries 
and uh, there was also a specifically built uh, technical upgrades for the PSVR system including greater draw distance, uh, new sitting and standing modes, including a new crouch button and a few other things. So well done, uh, nice surprise, good to see that sometimes the information that we have actually checks out uh, but I just want to say on a serious note that all the information that we get is passive information, we get it from somewhere else. It's not we're trying to give you fibs or lies, we're just trying to report on the news and uh, there are quite a bit of trolls out there. Hmm. So uh, one troll here saying, hey, stick with us, we'll give you some stuff when we can, when it's right. Hey, so another news article that we're going to talk to you quickly about uh, comes from still another one of uh, Sony's uh, state of play, and it has to do with the uh, game Humanity that they announced. Now this is interesting, because I don't remember in the trailer uh, seeing anything from the state of play showing that there was um, a VR support even. This is not a VR title, but there is PSVR support, and just like uh, Tetris Effect, which the studio has uh, worked on, worked what came from, it, it is can be uh, very well played or even better received during uh, the PSVR plays over the the standard plays. Now this is also again from the studio who was founded by the creator of Res. Uh, so you know Res, Res HD, uh, the PSVR Res. That's all the same one. So it's very interesting to see how and uh, you know what will come out of the PSVR support for this title. Um, definitely we don't know exactly what kind of gameplay uh, players can expect from humanity just from it looking at its own. It's sort of like Lemmings Tower Defense mixed with existential teen angst. But we do know that they, they have a, an interesting way of doing uh, the VR as we've seen with Res Infinite in 2017 and Tetris Effect in 2018. So Humanity is due out in 2020 on PSVR and include optional PSVR support. Um, we're expecting that this might be a controller only title, but that, that still won't matter as long as the PSVR visuals are there. Okay, so imagine, if you will, that basically your favorite game, a Beat Saber, walked into a dive bar, met up with uh, uh, Super Hot, and then they had ritualistic, you know, kinky sex, and then the outcome was this rhythm shooter title called Pistol Whip, and that's exactly what is about to happen. So uh, back in E3 uh, in June, this title was announced, and uh, now it looks like it's set to, uh, on track for November 7th release on Steam. Uh, that's for Oculus Quest, Oculus Rift, and uh, Steam VR. Uh, yeah, I said that. Already. Yeah. Anyway, uh, also they're planning a PSVR release uh, for later. No exact date on that. Um, <clears throat> so basically, this is uh, themed off of you know a there was a lot of '80s actually specifically called out uh, '80s movies references and being a badass you know sort of superhero, but maybe just don't have the skills to be John Wick. Hence the you know this this is the, the brainchild of that. And I'll try uh, to send a link uh, into the comments of this video to show you, but it's actually, it looks pretty well done. Um, it's definitely got Beat Saber vibes, but it definitely has uh, moments reminiscent of Super Hot. I can see where, you know, you, you get that, uh, that thought and feel. Um, however, motion and co continuously moving is very important in this, especially if you ever play Beat Saber, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so, again, this will launch November 7th for around $20, I want to say, uh, with plans for PSVR release. Don't know if that will happen this year, but it's still in the works. Uh, so, pistol whip your way to uh, happiness? Success? Wealth? No. Wait. Yeah, why not wealth? Okay, so, uh, thank you. If you remember the state of play that happened recently for Sony and PlayStation, then you'll remember that there was a, a small segment that had sort of like a spaceship sort of feel and a shooting type thingy involved as well. And you'd be correct in thinking that. It's called Stardust Odyssey, and it's actually so far uh, to be a PS uh, VR exclusive. And uh, it's themed around sort of like 80s uh, French novel themes, uh, not hard sci-fi, um, more like magical, like old school fantasy uh, sci-fi. Um, kind of 80s uh, style, think of it that way, you know what I mean, 80s magic fantasy, uh, and that's where you're getting it, um, and, and that has to do with space, puts you as a pilot of uh, um, your own spaceship, and you can actually play solo or co-op in this title, it has, uh, I want to say, up to 14 levels, 
with bosses, underlings, as uh, different abilities. You can uh, this sees treasures, secrets, there's all this like stuff. It's, it seems pretty cool. This is from uh, a French-based studio who did Shuffle Puck Cantina Deluxe for Oculus Rift in 2016, um, and they have made no mention whether Stardust uh, will come to PC VR again, as it's been listed as a PSVR exclusive. Uh, it will slated for winter 2019 launch so uh, if anything comes before that uh, that happens we will let you know and I'm losing it yeah wait. Cut, cut the deck hey we're back and we have another Kickstarter for you and this one comes in the name of tilt 5 and this actually sounds really cool because it fuses uh, tabletop gaming and traditional gaming into like a shared and sometimes even network experience using AR technology now in only 17 hours, it blew past its uh, goal of only $450,000. So they have other stretch goals, one at uh, uh, 750000 excuse me, and one at one mil two hundred and fifty. So we'll see what th those are because they haven't even really announced what the further stretch goals are, if any. But let's get a little bit into it. So starting at around $300, you will get a headset, which... Um, and a board, I should say, also some wands, is wand input, which allows for, you know, for button and movement controls. And uh, basically the uh, board, can all, uh, the glasses, I should say, could also detect, well, both, I should say, both can <laughs> detect cards and miniatures and uh, allowing the board to react to physical objects and movement as well, which is pretty interesting. Um, uh, as we said, there are AR glasses, but they don't use a traditional lens and display setup as you might expect from other AR headsets. Instead, there's like a, a tiny projector, which uh, beams the image into a reflective pad that uh, basically rests on the tabletop and effectively turning the pad into the display, which is why you're able to see your own version of the world and it updates in real time. Uh, it's really cool. There's also dots around the board allowing for positioning, uh, Basically, there's uh, a lot of applications that this can be used for. I mean, imagine like a, a card game, a uh, card playing game where the, the card characters come to life like you see in, you know, um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, something like Magic the Gathering, imagine that. And then there's also applications for uh, Dungeons and Dragons type role play, you know, where you can actually do live roll dice and, and outcomes and you might not need a dungeon master anymore and you can play online with people across. There's, there's a lot that can be done here with this. It's pretty interesting, it's pretty insane. Uh, we'll definitely keep on top of this as it grows. Again, that's Tilt 5 if you wanted to check it out in Kickstarter. Uh, we recommend you do. Uh, looks very cool. A lot of people are probably playing this here in like a year or two. Hey, uh, okay, we have some news relating to the app that we reported on a while back called Next VR. So, Next VR is a free app that allows you to see uh, live content from around the world in terms of musical performance, uh, ac action activities, sing alongs, dances, concerts, and live sports. And that's exactly what this is. So, starting next month, the NBA and Next VR will be broadcasting 26 basketball games live in VR. That's right, you heard it. Some of which are free to watch. That's right, free. And the US-based users with a VR headset, and I believe that does uh, extend to PSVR, as the app is available on PSVR. Uh, the VR viewing schedule tips off on the 26th of October, uh, starting with the New Orleans Pelicans versus the uh, Houston Rockets. There you go. Uh, this will also feature a top game each week throughout the NBA regular season. You'll find the schedule at uh, the website if you go to Next VR. So there you go. That's that sounds pretty cool. Also, I guess is a free game, a free league pass game. Is they're marked with an asterisk. It'll be easier to find. Uh, there's also other games on the schedule that do require a league pass subscription, which is you know uh, one-off purchase to watch the game. That is of course sold separately. Uh, now, as an official VR streaming partner of the NBA, NextVR is not only serving up its weekly scary stereotopic 3D game broadcast in VR, but also full game rain plays, highlights, and other on-demand content. So make sure you check out all of uh, the features that it has to offer. And now, uh, also don't forget that the NBA League Pass games will also be available to watch in standard 2D streaming content with NextVR's screening room and uh, theater room, which is, uh, I want to say, in the NextVR app. So, uh, there you go. That's quick and easy. And uh, please, check, if you haven't checked out Next VR, you should. Uh, there's everything. Monster truck cons rallies. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff. Just don't pay no attention to me. Just go, go try it out. Just go. 
Okay, Fall of Fail Army is rounding out the last of our news updates this week, and of course we'd like to say thank you. Thank you for sharing your day with us, spending some time with us. Uh, we would like to get more news as it becomes available, and of course I just wanted to say that I want to try to make up for not you know, getting out that video to you, so I'm going to try to do something for you nice here soon. So. Before we forget, the last news article that we're going to talk about is about Aspire 1. Uh, in case you're wondering why you're not playing it, it's because it has been sort of delayed by several weeks. Digital Load and Tripwire Entertainment said that they have found some stability and performance issues that while not uh, directly impacting the player all the time, it would be frequent enough to sustain that what we would feel would hinder enjoyment. So now it is back to the old grinding stone to polish this baby out. And that's not bad because it still has a fall. 2019 uh, window, but that also could be, you know, early, mid, late November. We don't know. Uh, but either way, this is something that uh, I'm willing to wait for. So, and if anything else comes out or if they uh, push it up after they get a, a better build, we will definitely let you know. So, again, Full of Fail Army would like to say thank you. Thank you all. Uh, please like, subscribe, share. We will come back to you more at, uh, at uh, a random interval. Meh.